Hi everybody, so today's lesson is about pie charts and we're really going to focus on being able to read them today. You won't be so much creating them by hand. I'm going to have you in the next couple of days doing some internet research to try to find websites and or apps that can create data displays for us very nicely. And I'm gonna let you choose whatever you find that you happen to like. But let's talk a little bit about pie charts. You've all seen a pie chart before. It's a circle that just represents every individual that we're of interest and we separate by slices of the pie. So it's showing percents. So for example, if you looked at a pie chart and saw you know, one quarter of the circle, that's 25%. So that would mean that 25% of the individuals did whatever it is that you're looking at. Um, we're gonna be using technology, like I said. So today's assignment is really going to be just being able to read pie charts. You're going to have a Google form to do this. But I wanted to work through an example with you and show you uh, two pie charts that I created of the exact same data do it using just two different websites that I found. And so you'll be doing things like that. All right, so let's take a look at this, this data here. So I've got um, frequencies, counts of quite a few people. There were 39,870 25 to 34 year olds were asked their level of education. And the middle column represents the number of people who had whatever level of education. So 5,126 of them didn't complete high school. There were 11,408 high school graduates, 10,961 people had some college, etc. Now, if I want to make a pie chart with this data, those counts, those frequencies need to be written as percents. So what I need to do here is to convert them to percents, and we've talked about this earlier, but I need to take the number of people that in this case had less than a high school education and divide that by the total. So if I take my calculator and I do 5,126 divided by 39,870, I get 0.12856. Now to make that into a percent, I need to multiply that by 100. So if I take 0 0.12856 and multiply it by 100, I'm really just moving the decimal two to the right. So this is 12.856%. But we typically will write these rounded to the nearest hundredth, so two decimal places. So I'm going to actually write this as 12. Let's, let's go to the nearest tenth, okay? Actually, I'm gonna do this to the nearest tenth. So I'm going to look, it's 12.856. So the five will make, that's five and above, so just using rounding rules that will round the eight up to a nine. So this is 12.9%. Now I can go through and do that for every one of these categories, so 11,408 divided by 39,870, this will turn it into a decimal for me. So again, I'm using my calculator right now, and I get 0.2861, and then I'm going to take that decimal and multiply it by 100. So now I have 28.61% and rounded to the nearest tenth, this is a one right here in the hundred spot, so the six will just stay. Now I went ahead and did these all already, so there they are. Now the thing is, because we were rounding, all of those percents, see down here in the total, it didn't add up to 100, and that's just called round off error. And that's going to happen if you're rounding. So what I'm going to do when I go to create this pie chart is I, I'm 0.1 over. So maybe I'll go in and say, all right, let's just make these masters people 8.2. It's not that big of a deal, okay? And then that will make our total add up to 100%, which is what we need it to be. The pie chart always has to add up to 100%. 
Now I went and I created two different pie charts of this data. I'm not going to tell you what I used to do them because this is going to be part of your job in coming days. Um, all I did was Google searched. I Google searched how to make pie charts or, you know, pie chart makers or something like that. And I came up with two. So you can decide which one you like better here. You can see that I do have a title. Remember we talked about data displays always have to have a title. Pie charts need some kind of key if the um, pies like slices themselves are not labeled. So here they weren't. This website that I used uh, provided our answers as decimals. I was able to change the colors in there and we can see so the biggest slice of the pie uh, is the green. It's only a little bit larger than the pink. So most people were high school grads here, uh, followed by some college. The least likely for this age group was to have a master's or above. Now the second chart, this is really the exact same data. It was just made using a different website. So again, it has a title. That title probably could be a little bit bigger. Uh, this one also has a key, but this one has the percents instead of decimals for each slice, but it still looks the same. I mean, the colors are different but the largest slice of pie is this orange slice with high school graduates. So there's a pie chart. So your assignment today is going to be, um, like I said, it's a Google form and it's going to be just answering questions about pie charts. So maybe something like, which category was the least likely? And you would say in this case, master's degree plus, because that was the smallest slice of the pie. Or maybe I could give you a true false question like, um, uh, let's see, 25 to 34 year olds who completed at least a bachelor's degree is more than 50% of the people surveyed. Now, I said at least a bachelor's degree, which means people who have a bachelor's degree or higher. So if we look at their 22.8% have a bachelor's degree, 8.2% have a master's degree. So if we add them together, that means that we have 31% of the people had at least a bachelor's degree. That's not more than half. So the answer to that question would be false. So those are the kinds of questions you're going to be working on today. As always, if you have any questions, let me know and I'll help you out. Okay, take care.